Hey guys, what's going on? Always Boss here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on the Uzi from Battling Royale. Oh, I didn't even. That's cool. Okay, so. <coughs> here we go. So, compared to all these other weapons, we gotta look at the DPS, okay? Which is like Joss per second or something like that. I don't even know. I don't know what DPS is. Oh god, this video's gone to this. But it's 37, that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Well, we gotta look at his range, okay? Alright guys, so... This is... Editing boss here, and uh... DPS is uh... It actually does mean... Mean... It's actually important. But right after this, I really said that's not important. <laughs> because I didn't know what it was, but it is a displaced person, okay? He was forced to leave the home country because of war and persecution. So basically, in Battle Angel, yeah? You're forced to like go to war in Battle Angel yeah? because this is so basically saying a bunch of these people in Battle Angel yeah, are a bunch of immigrants. And if you use the user, you're more of an immigrant than somebody who's like the assault rifle. No, I'm kidding, but after you just go down a little bit, it literally just says uh, damage per second, which well, actually makes a lot of sense because as you could tell by in the video that I'm editing, the damage per second is actually higher than the assault rifle. But why is the assault rifle so much better, you may ask? That's a pretty good point. The range is barely better. It damages way higher, but it's the headshot damage is what really like carried it on. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that um that uh, DPS means uh, damage per second, and it actually does matter. In case you all wondering, DPS means damage per second. Yeah. The range is 11, which as you can tell, even the shotgun shoots further. Yeah, there's literally nothing. Oh my god. Okay, the revolver is worse, and the other shotgun. The double barrel shotgun can shoot further than the range of the Uzi. Which is crappy. The bullets per minute though, however, 900. That's like more than any other gun in the game. So basically, initial ammo is 180, which is a lot of ammo compared to the other guns as well. Which would make sense, you get more bullets per second, or bullets a minute, you get more ammo, because you're going to go through way more bullets. And the headshot damage is only 1x, and as you can tell, legendary just include, increases that, okay? <clears throat> so basically what you want to do is to use the you want to get, obviously you want to get like basically right next to the guy like literally just get right on him I don't I mean if you have a shotgun it's gonna be tough but if they have like something like the car 99 then all you have to do really is just get right on top of them and the pulse per minute like a bit like let's see compared to car 99 pulse per minute 28 pulse per minute need 900 so you gotta see how this easy will look what you gotta do is basically just get right up on the guy and just spray and pray so I'm going to try to show you guys in a solo match, but uh, I'll see you when I actually get to the uh, the Uzi. Alright, first match we found an Uzi. Fuck off. Literally just piss off. Now that we got the Uzi, it's over. <laughs> so we got the Uzi. This is literally my first match. I got just like cut out the other equaling. It's my first match on. But as you tell, that's what the Uzi looks like in game. Now the only issue this thing is, uh... You kinda need to be right on top of the guy. So, my, what you gotta do here is make it look like you have ammo. Make them get confident, okay? So, I think, yep, there's somebody in this building right here. You see how they have the sniper? Run away. This guy's a shotgun, right? I already told you, do not fight guys with a shotgun, and you're the gold one. You're asking to die once again. And he's longer distance with the double barrel, which is kinda funny. <laughs> Shotguns and should not have longer distance from the Uzi, but it's realistic. The Uzi is a submachine gun. It's made for close range, obviously. This thing's not made. This thing's not made for long range. It's not made for insane amount of damage at a time. It's basically made to spray and pray. <laughs> like honestly. Oh, right, so here's what my plan is. There's no bushes. This thing good. Okay, so another thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna get inside the building. Building in a bush are basically the same thing, okay? Somebody comes in here, this is another strategy. You can either get in a bush like that, or get a building like this. But no matter what, if they come in here, or get through the bush, they're forced to do close range combat. And that's where the Uzi specialty is. Now, the downside of this is if a guy comes in with a shotgun, you ain't looking good, okay? See, here's a guy with a golden AK. Well, he's not gonna kill us, but see, he's forced to get close range right there. We got some good damage on him. 
He's gonna try to keep it distance. See, this is gonna be. See, we just gotta stay inside of here. The Uzi's kind of a camping type of weapon. Like, you just gotta be a camper with it, okay? Get a few shots off right here. Okay, we got him. You see that? It's the camping type of weapon. We're gonna wait for this guy with the sniper to come in. He has to come in eventually, so. I'm gonna wait for him to go for the med kit and that stuff. And then, like, you know. Watch, watch, watch. He still thinks. He knows I'm in here. I should not have let him get that shield, but it's okay. So, we got this stuff right here. We gotta get back inside the building, though. You see, now I want a pickle because everyone has the long range weapons except for us. So what we're just gonna do is try to get right up on this guy and just play him down. Oh, he. All right, man, that's gonna be it for today, man. Um, there you have it with the Uzi. The tips and tricks you learned is basically just it does more bullets a minute, so you just gotta spray. And really just force people into close range. Once you're in the open and exposed, that's when it's basically over for you. Like you gotta force them into close range, and you just gotta force them to like, I don't know. You just gotta force them into close range, basically. But uh, that's gonna be it for today, man. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.